Huh? <laughs> all right, 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 all right. Welcome, welcome to Meals in Minutes with the O's and the double O. <laughs> double O, oh yeah, double O. All right, so today we're making Burundian matoke, and guys, listen, Burundi, which is where my lovely wife is from. Have the best food you can ever ever eat in your life. I Say kid that again. You not. And I went there when I was actually vegan. So we are gonna make a Burundian uh, delicacy today, which is matoke, Burundian style. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now yes. there are multiple ways of making this. This is the easily one of the easiest ways. So you boil your matoke with the leaves until it's ready with to be magandas. eaten with the magandas until it's ready to be eaten and then once you're done you switch it off how long does it take to boil like to be honest it all depends matoke to matoke depending on where it's being yeah. you know grown yeah you pour the, the hot water put a little bit of cold water and then we start peeling and you can always just keep the matoke with the as they are just on the side if you want to cook it the next day depending on how you want to cook them so hot water out cold water in yes all right so now you just remove and to be honest this is also another hack so that you don't have the black when it's, when it's the black stains that you get when you're peeling mm. bananas and matokes it's really never that cute and it's also easier to peel when it's like soft. this yes yeah. so this is what you want once you've peeled your matokes Now let me introduce to you the things that we're going to use. This is spinach, already cut, green peas, already boiled. Have your tomatoes, your onions, tomato paste, your salt and pepper for seasoning, your garlic, and your peanut butter. Peanut butter in everything, everything. <laughs> Remember what we say here, yeah. garlic solves all problems. All right, so I'm Thanks. going to pulse the onions in this uh, chopper. And I'm going to start the fire here. Because this saves, it saves lives. Guys, saves <laughs> lives. Literally. Just enough. Finely chopped. Fantastic. Look get that. Put it in the blender and you have your tomatoes pulsed and ready. Also another hack really to make these meals in minutes is the fact that you're not doing it by yourself. You know? A generous amount of garlic. Ooh, smelling good. All right, it's done. There are your tomatoes. Ooh, voila. It smells good. So my peas are... At peace. Oh my God, really? <laughs> <laughs> were you one of those kids who didn't like peas, green peas when you were young? We didn't eat much sure. of green peas, really. Yeah? Like it was like... Growing up, like if you're having Ugalis with one of the burgers or meat on the side, mm. and then there's Gideri, yeah. which is Nyoyo in our language, and uh, beans and rice. So peas was like a rare occurrence. Oh, okay. <laughs> different in culture. Yeah, exactly. Really different in culture. Well, yeah. us, we really use, we eat a lot of peas, really. Oh, we really? put peas in a lot of things. We even make salad with peas. Yeah, Peas salad, nice. yeah. yeah. So we really use a lot of it. Yeah. Just different in culture, really. Yeah. I'm gonna put my spinach. Nothing goes to waste. I'm gonna cover it up just a little. No, no fancy spice. We have fancy spices like just black pepper salt. Yeah. Um, I think that's one of the things that makes Burundian food quite tasty. Really, we don't use a lot of spices in our foods. Yeah. In fact, it's quite basic when it comes to spices. People don't really use but a But now, lot of funny, spices. funny enough, you are the one who introduced me to spicy food, my love. I spiced up your life, darling. Okay, you I spiced up your life, darling. But this is exactly <laughs> how I used to cook. Onions, tomatoes, yeah, salt, pepper sometimes. That's it. I never used to use garlic, by the way. <laughs> I That's know. So you me. did spice up my life, I agree. And chili. We eat a lot of chili. Burundi. So, chili. yes. So okay. really, in I should have like had a scotch bonnet that I just put in and just allow it to, to actually cook together. I'll just reduce the heat a bit because it's spinach. So. <laughs> 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 All right. Spinach. <laughs> really? No, that's how my dad would say spinach. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. He said it. I didn't. 
<laughs> oh, banklets. <laughs> Don't make fun of your dad. He's going to watch I'm this. I'm not making fun. I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna watch this, but he knows. You know, I love you, Papa. I would like to make clear, to make this clear, that I do not encourage this behavior. <laughs> I really don't. I'm gonna put my tomatoes. All right. Let's season a little bit with our black pepper. Okay, we are moving along very, so good. very, very good. Wow. Oops. Burundians have tomato paste in everything. Right, baby? <laughs> well, everything. Well, not everything, but quite. <laughs> because we say, Tegirizo kugiri sosi. Ego. It's sosi, a rouge and ziza. It has to have like sauce and it has to be, you know, red nicely. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to put our bananas in. So, we can use this type of peanut butter. You can use the ground peanut butter, so it's all up to you. Yes. Do you mix it with water to make a paste? Yes, or you, just put you mix it? it with water to make a paste. And then you put it in. Oh yeah. So we cover it up a little bit for a few minutes to allow it to get ready. So this is parsley from... The fact is that... The shamba. This, is <laughs> this parsley <laughs> is from our shamba. Yes, our yes. little shamba. And that brings me to the point that you can grow anything. Even if you're in an apartment, anywhere you're staying, you can yeah. really grow anything that you can in your kitchen, even in your balcony, whatever you can. Just try and grow these small things. I think yeah. it, it gives you so much pride when you know what's at the what's table, on, the plate, yeah. on your plate. You've yeah. also grown it yourself. Yeah. All right. Our matokes are quite ready. Because you really don't need to wait for the parsley to cook completely because it's always a, it's like a garnish at the same time anyway. So. You know we had to add avocado, right? Mm -hmm. What is life without avocado? Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> how do I get to be kicked out? I love how I can taste the parsley. Mm -hmm. It brings so much flavor mm -hmm. in the mouth. The mm -hmm. matoke is great. Oh wow. Yeah. This is good. Very good. The parsley is still there nicely. Yeah. And that's how it should be. Yeah. 